instructional video to show you how to apply your vinyl lettering to your mailbox. When you get your kit, this is basically what you'll be seeing. You'll have uh, two of these and then you'll have a number for the front. The um, most important part, I'm using this for a template because I don't have a, a new mailbox to apply the letters to, but the most important part of applying these letters is to make sure you have a clean surface. So what I recommend, I have 91% alcohol here. Um, anything from 50% and up is fine. Just as long as it's uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol. But what you want to do is you want to clean the surface to get all the, any kind of dirt or oils from your hand. Um, a lot of times new mailboxes too will have something on them from the manufacturing process. So what you want to do is clean that first real well. Then you want to take your decal and you want to kind of eyeball it. Kind of look at it and, and get what you think is the straightest. And then what you can do is you can take your tape. You can take a piece of tape on each corner and kind of just tack it there. Tack it there. Then what you want to do is measure up from the square part of your mailbox, which is generally going to be on the bottom. So you would measure up from the bottom of the mailbox, and like for instance here, the the name Roberts, you would want to measure up to the bottom of the S, and then the bottom of the R. And the part you would want to measure up to, depending on the font would be the, the part that usually comes the furthest down. So what I recommend is taking your tape measure and measuring that and then kind of stand back and look at it and if it doesn't look straight you can adjust it a little bit because really what appears to the eye is what everybody's going to see and that's how you want it to look. Now the easiest method that I've found it's called the hinge method. And what you can do is you can tape it right down the middle once you get it where you want it that'll hold it on the mailbox. Then you can take this end loose and you can peel back the backing off of it. Do it very gently so that the letters stay on your transfer film. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and, and cut it with a pair of scissors. Then what I suggest doing is you can take like a credit card, driver's license, or any kind of flat, uh, something that has a flat edge to it, and just take it along, and as you're laying it down, just squeegee the letters on, just like this. And what you want to do is you want to squeegee them, you know, put a fair amount of pressure on it and do this because that'll activate the glue. Okay, now that that's down, you can take the hinge part off. Just be careful not to tear up your your transfer paper when, when you go to look like I'm doing right now. And gently take that off. And now you have something to hold it straight. Take this off, feel your uh, backing paper off all the way. And then what you want to do is the same thing. Of course your mailbox will not be moving like this thing is. But you want to do the same thing. You just want to kind of lay it, let your squeegee lay the letters down. Keep the paper straight as you're doing it. And it'll act as kind of a guide. If we get it down real good, activate the glue. And one of the most important parts of this is going to be removing your transfer tape because if you're not careful and you pull straight up on the tape, 
you can pull the lettering off or you can put large bubbles in the letters um, so what I recommend doing is when you start peeling that tape peel it back onto itself at a 45 degree angle it very slowly to make sure that everything stays on the mailbox and just take your time you're not you don't have to be in a hurry to do this this is high quality vinyl too so once you put it on there uh, you can't remove it and reuse it this is a this is a one-shot deal but if you do it like I'm showing you here it will last you for a long time and it'll look very nice this is not a mailbox but this is a a license plate cover but basically this is what you get when you're done the letters are laid down nice and flat there's no bubbles if there ever are any tiny bubbles what you can do is you can take a razor knife or if you you have a, like a little sewing needle or something um, you can take in wherever the the bubble might be at the edge of the bubble you'll put a tiny little hole there and work the bubble out but most of the time on this if you have any bubbles they're going to be very small and with the difference in the temperature from the daytime the nighttime what's going to happen is the the metal from the mailbox will uh, contract and expand and these bubbles should be gone within about a week so anyway i hope this helped you out if you have any questions feel free to uh, send us an email at sign portals uh, at gmail.com and we hope you enjoy your letters